I want to make it perfectly clear that this is pure speculation, but you might find it interesting, nevertheless. This is how I think it might have all played out. It might have all happened. Around half a million years ago, give or take, there were different kinds of hominids and other primates living on Earth. Around that time, human-like beings from another planet arrived and colonized Earth. The planet they left may or may not have been Tiamat, a planet that was destroyed in a major cataclysm and whose remnants became what is now known as the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. They created and constructed advanced things. They started civilizations. Lemuria may have been an early one. At some point, they came up with the idea to create a more advanced being out of one, of the, one or several of the hominids that were here. Perhaps they needed a larger workforce or something. So they began to genetically modify those hominids, maybe the ones that looked like uh, what we now call anatomically modern humans. Homo sapiens got a boost. The ETs were the nobility. They were probably bigger, larger than Homo sapiens, and some of them could have had elongated skulls. They became the creator gods in numerous later legends and myths. Several cataclysms ensued, which ended attempts at building global civilizations. The last one before the one that we're in now was called Atlantis. It was created by groups that migrated from west to east over the American continent, and that consisted of humans that by then had become more advanced, plus representatives of the nobility. They may have come from what was earlier Lemuria, or not. But they centered their civilization on islands outside of the coast of North America, in the area that we now call Bahamas, the Bahamas, and the Greater Antilles. They also had colonies around the Atlantic Ocean and also in West Africa and Northern South America and around the Mediterranean Sea, including Chem, which was later to be known as Egypt. One powerful king priest was called Thoth in Chem, or Egypt. The Greeks later called him Hermes Trismegistus. He and his closest allies conveyed deep knowledge about the connection between this physical life and the universe or God, in short, knowledge about what it's all about, birth and death. Atlantis was destroyed in a major catastrophe 12,000 to 13,000 years ago, a combination of a bombardment of comet debris and solar outbursts. A few survivors spread to the colonies. Some went to Chem slash Egypt, where the knowledge of Thoth was kept, for instance, in the, the Library of Alexandria, underneath the Sphinx, and in other places. The knowledge of Thoth slash, Thoth slash Hermes Trismegistus is the foundation of all deep knowledge about life in all subsequent religions, and also astrology, tarot, numerology, and practically all esoteric traditions. The seven hermetic principles is a basis for all of that. Google that. The Giza pyramids were orig originally built during the time that Chem was an Atlantean colony, but they were reconstructed during the early Egyptian dynasties, using some of the knowledge that had survived. But most of the knowledge was forgotten during thousands of years of dark age after the latest cataclysm. Comet debris and solar flares continue to make life hard for humans and other species on this planet for a long time. But then, around 6,000 years ago, things calmed down, and there was a restart of civilization. And the rest, we know, basically. So the beginnings were not in the Middle East, and the Americas were not latecomers. The very first beginnings could have been anywhere, but the penultimate beginning, the one before the one in our textbooks, was probably in the Americas. And the Middle East was a continuation of that. So this is one possibility. Probably at least half of what I just said is wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's not more wrong than the standard story. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Thanks.